Come with me on a culinary journey to understand what has made KUKA over the last 10 years one of the top foodie destinations. Understand the stories and the ideas behind all of our signature dishes. Not only how they are created, but what makes them magic and how we use local ingredients in exciting new ways. Find out what all the foodies are continuing to talk about. Nachos. So this is a dish I know extremely well. It's actually a dish I grew up with. Now, coming from the States and inspired by that classic kind of Tex-Mex style cooking, the version that we get today, especially throughout Canada, is pretty much everything you have in the kitchen on top of tortilla chips with cheese and cooked until melting. That's the idea. Then you get sauces on the table. Everything from pico de gallo, guacamole, sour cream, you name it, it's kind of there. So everything mound comes to you, it's a lot, but it's extremely delicious. And it's a dish that not only I love, but that everybody loves this dish. And when you receive it, what makes it magical is as you take a chip, there's never two bites that are exactly the same. So the first chip you eat of nachos might have yellow cheese, pickled jalapeno, right, and guacamole. The next one might have none of those. It might be, for example, black olive, tomato, and sour cream, giving you a really exciting dish. Each mouthful is slightly different than the last, and the future mouthfuls are gonna be slightly different also. So this constant change in terms of not only texture, but flavor makes nachos extremely delicious and extremely exciting. So looking at that as a point of reference, the fact that each chip has a different profile, that's what we tried to achieve in Guga. So instead of tortilla chips, what we've done is we've taken sweet potatoes, beautiful sweet potatoes, uh, sliced them, kind of folded them around themselves and cooked until crispy, provided these kind of little funky cones, almost like small little trumpets. Inside, we fill these cones with two different sauces. One is an onion-based sauce, kind of very reminiscent of refried beans, but only with onion. A small amount of cumin, coriander. The other one is a tomato-based sauce, right? So we work on these two sauces, filling the chips up, giving us these two different flavor profiles. And in the center that we cover with freshness of parsley and spring onions and sesame, underneath that little kind of funky cap haircut, we do guacamole. Now guacamole, as we know, is always avocado-based, right? You then add small little garnishes, but there's never much else except avocado. Avocado, lime, onion, small amount of garlic. But in Kuka and in Indonesia, the avocados, to be honest, they're not great. Uh, they're fibrous and they're full of water. So to get the creaminess of an avocado, we use soybeans and a small amount of coconut cream. And this is blended together and emulsified, giving you what many people would have a hard time distinguishing as the most amazing guacamole. So when the guests receive our version of nachos, they're instructed to take a chip and run it through the center, giving you not only a guacamole, but also either one of two unique flavor profiles, either an onion or a tomato based. The chips just before they go out are dusted kind of like the old classic Dorito. They have that kind of powdered deliciousness on top. So we do smoked paprika, cumin, coriander, and love. And so this version of a classic nachos as every other dish only available in Kuka.